In this video today, I'm going to take a look at three watches which all feature Seiko's highly regarded 8F56 quartz movement. So one of the reasons this movement is so highly regarded is the accuracy, which is purported to be around plus or minus 20 seconds a year. It also features a GMT function, which means by pulling out the crown by one position, we can move the hour hand forwards and backwards independently of the seconds hand. An advantage of this movement is it allows the case size to be quite slim and compact compared to some of Seiko's mechanical watches. This one actually features a titanium steel case, so it's very light and easy to wear. Case size is 38.5 millimeters. I'll just slip it on my wrist here. Yeah, and you can see that wears extremely nice and comfortable on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Now the next one is a real sleeper. Uh, originally released in 2006 in three colorways, black, cream, and this silver champagne dial. These were discontinued shortly after and have since become very sought after by collectors and for good reason. There is something almost sky dweller-ish about this style and the applied Seiko logo, indices and date window also give it a nice touch of quality. The quality extends to the case which is made of titanium but in this one, the surfaces are brushed instead of polished, which makes it slightly more scratch resistant. And shout out to the three piece center link bracelet, which is really high quality and much better than what I come to expect from Seiko in recent years. You really have to come up to the sort of presage line to find a bracelet of equal quality in modern Seiko releases. Putting it on the wrist, you can see the 40 millimeter case where it's slightly larger than the Alpin, Alpinist, but the short squared off lugs make it still just as compact and the 10 millimeter size thickness also makes this a real pleasure to wear. Now going back a few years to the early 2000s and Seiko released a line of sports watches that were called the Great Blue. Now, not many of these were particularly memorable, but this one, which featured the 8F56 movement, sapphire glass, twin crowns, and a lovely, almost Nautilus-style dial, really deserves some attention. The additional crown on the left is responsible for rotating the 24-hour inner bezel, which I guess combining with the GMT hand allows you to track the time in multiple time zones. Throw in the Cyclops magnification over the date window, some loom tipped shark tooth indices, and you have a unique and cool looking piece, which you certainly won't see on anyone else's wrist anytime soon. Finishing up with a quick wrist shot here, I've got this mounted on a Barton rubber strap and the 20 millimeter lug width means you'll have no problem finding something suitable to fit this watch. With an estimated battery life of around five to 10 years and the perpetual calendar, which means you'll never have to bother changing the date once it's been set up, these really are an excellent value proposition and something these days you'd have to step up to the Grand Seiko price point to get anything anywhere near close the accuracy and quality. Three of these watches are for sale so be sure to hit me up in the comments, send me an email or contact me on any of our social media links if you're interested in making a purchase.